Welcome back. You're watching Times Now. The show is Blueprint. Top stories and headlines coming your way at this hour. Take a look. The Times Now news break confirmed. Times Now accesses bone chilling letter that reveals the Maoist plot to kill Prime Minister Modi. Not one, but two, at least five explosive letters with stunning details accessed by Times Now. A threat to Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis also exposed. And Times Now keeps you ahead on every angle on Prime Minister Modi's assassination plot. Sensational news break coming up at 7 p.m. Mewani. और खालिद उमर वगैरह ने करवाया उनके नाम एफ आई आर भी दर्ज हो गया आज तक उनकी गिरफ्तारी क्यों नहीं हो रही बट एक्टिविस्ट स्टिल क्वेश्चन दैरासिटी एंड स्वामी अग्निवेश डिमांड सुप्रीम कोर्ट मॉनिटर प्रो अनदर मेगा टाइम्स नाउ इम्पैक्ट आवर्स आफ्टर आस्किंग एथलीट टू पे थर्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ दर्निंग टू द स्टेट द कट्टर गवर्नमेंट पुट्स द लगान ऑर्डर on hold All right the big story today and of course it was yesterday as well Times now has exposed how Maoists were allegedly planning a Rajiv Gandhi type assassination of Prime Minister Narendra Modi Today the Times now news break has been confirmed but that's not what the story ends At least four more explosive letters have been accessed by Times Now that reveal a threat to the Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and his family. In the latest, Home Minister of the country Rajnath Singh, as well as the Maharashtra Chief Minister himself, have both reacted to Times Now's news break, claiming that the Prime Minister's security was a priority and that Maoists were fighting a lost battle. Here are the reactions of the Home Minister of the country and the Maharashtra Chief Minister. now has accessed letter that was intercepted by pune police that exposes maoist conspiracy and plot to assassinate prime minister narendra modi rajiv gandhi style how serious is this a concern and what kind of measures will be taken any team will be constituted to investigate properly into this matter so that the land hand can be laid on all those culprits who are behind this वैसे हम लोग अपने प्राइम मिनिस्टर के सिक्योरिटी को लेकर बराबर गंभीर रहते हैं और माओइस का जहां तक सवाल है उनके बारे में मैं कहना चाहूंगा इस समय हारी हुई लड़ाई वो लड़ रहे हैं माओ एक्सट्रीमिज्म माओवादी उग्रवाद अब काफी कम हो चुका है यह पहले इस देश के लगभग 135 जिले ऐसे थे जिनमें कि बहुत अधिक माओइज्म माओवादी उग्रवाद का प्रभाव था आज छिटपुट देखा जाए तो लगभग ऐसे नब्बे जिले बचे हैं चार वर्षों की अचीवमेंट को बतला रहा हूं और ज्यादा प्रभावित यदि जिले में कहूं तो अब भी बामुश्किल दस जिले ऐसे हैं कि जिनमें की सबसे ज्यादा प्रभाव है लेकिन पहले भी कह चुका हूं अब भी आश्वस्त कर रहा हूं कि अब यह माओवादी उग्रवादी अपनी हारी हुई लड़ाई लड़ रहे हैं और इस उग्रवाद का समाप्त होगा जैसे नॉर्थ ईस्ट में उग्रवाद का समाप्त हुआ है चार वर्षों के अंदर कोई भी जाकर वहां देख सकता है जानकारी हासिल कर सकता है 85 फाइव परसेंट एक्सट्रीमिज्म में उग्रवाद में कमी आई है नॉर्थ ईस्ट में आए दिन वहां पर हत्याएं होती थी लोग मारे जाते थे अभी अभी मुझे जानकारी यहां प्राप्त हुई है और जाकर वहां पर फिर भी मैं देखूंगा लेकिन बहुत सारी हमारी सिक्योरिटी एजेंसी यहां देख रही है नक्सलवादी गतिविधियों में जो इन्फॉर्मेशन मिली थी उसके आधार पर पुलिस ने पूरे देश में जो अर्बन नक्सल फ्रंट पर छापे मारे कुछ लोगों को अरेस्ट भी किया उसकी पूरी जानकारी पुलिस को मिली है और इसमें देश के खिलाफ किस प्रकार का षड्यंत्र चल रहा था ऐसे अपराधियों को जो हिंसा पर विश्वास रखते हैं इन्हें कभी हम बख्शेंगे नहीं छोड़ेंगे नहीं और यहां से बचेंगे आज पुलिस को बड़ी सफलता है मिली है महाराष्ट्र की पुलिस को मैं बधाई देता हूं और यह भी याद दिलाता हूं 
जो नक्सली संगठन ने डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अम्बेडकर जी का नाम लेकर छत्र शिवाजी महाराज जी का नाम लेकर जो समाजों में झगड़ा लगाने की कोशिश की है जिसका पर्दाफाश हुआ है और भीमा पूरे गांव के लोगों ने उसी दिन कहा था हमें इस हिंसक वारदात से घटनाओं से हमारा कोई संबंध नहीं है हम गांव में मिलजुल के रहना चाहते हैं वो क्षेत्र में यही भावना उस दिन भी थी आज भी That was, that was Hans Raj. I hear Remo is for home uh, reacting to this big story and the letters that have been confirmed. The news break has been confirmed, in fact, today. And Home Minister Rajnath Singh has also reacted to it. Uh, I have three guests with me right now. Ajaz Ilmi of uh, the BJP, Professor K. Nageshwar. He's a political analyst, joins me as well from Hyderabad. Shamsher K. Pathan completes the panel. He's the president of the Awami Party. He joins us from Mumbai. Let's go across to our guest. Ajaz Ilmi, I'd like to start with you right now. Any assassination plot is no laughing matter. It's not a joke. And when it involves the prime minister of the country, we can't just uh, wish it under the wish it away or, or, or rub it under the carpet. This is a very very serious threat. We've lost two prime ministers of the country, both Congress prime ministers, no doubt, but prime ministers nonetheless. Now there are people today who come out and say this is the handiwork of quote unquote agencies. There's something fishy going on here. These are fictitious stories. How would you respond to those uh, allegations today that have come from not one but many quarters? I think people who want to make allegations will continue to make these allegations. What what is imperative? is that the government is seized of the matter and the security of the Prime Minister of India. We've lost two uh, Prime Ministers earlier, Indira Gandhiji and, and Rajiv Gandhiji, to uh, acts of heinous terrorism and they were assassinated in very brutal fashions. We cannot allow any force, irrespective of what their ideology or what their thought process is, is to inflict upon this nation again what we always suffered twice. Okay. And uh, the government is very, very no, serious. I, I agree uh, with the, you. The security is principal there. Everybody but, but the understands question, that this. Ajaz, Ajaz, in fact, in fact, we are getting some more information now. A former, uh, uh, former Home Secretary, now a minister in the Modi cabinet, R.K. Singh has spoken out. Uh, this is what he said. This is what he told us. Take a look. At a time where a damning letter has surfaced revealing the plot to assassinate Prime Minister Narendra Modi. I am joined by someone who has seen everything with very close quarter. Now, a union minister, a former Home Secretary, sir, a very damning letter has been, you know, has come to light in which not only the Prime Minister, but also one of the Chief Ministers, one of the famous Chief Ministers of the BJP, they are under the radar. How do you react to that? Yeah, I, I, I take it very seriously. I take it very seriously because, you know, all those uh, who are not happy with the emergence of India as a strong country on the world stage. All our enemies, all those who wish us harm, all of them are coming together. This is something which we have been seeing. They have been coming together because they are worried that India is emerging as a strong country and an assertive country on the world stage. And, uh, you know, in this you can count the Maoists, the Naxalites, in this you can count the jihadi terrorists, you can count ISI and other of our enemies, uh, you know, across the world. They are not happy with India emerging on the world stage under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi. And they think that one method, one way of disrupting this India growth story is to remove Prime Minister Modi, assassinate him. Therefore, I take this very seriously. And all those who are uh, sort of discounting this are uh, talking through their hat. They don't know what they are talking about. So, you know, what's even more shocking? You know, what needs to be done is, I, I believe that the Prime Minister's security needs to be increased. And this, you know, all the people behind this plot, they need to be tracked down. But it's all all of them together, whether, whether it is, the, it's all of them together. All of those who want India to uh, to, you know, break up India, Bharat, Tere, Tukde, Hongi, Sab, Wahi elements, all, all these elements are involved in this. None of them want India to emerge as a strong power, which it is emerging. So, but you know, what's even more shocking is the fact that later also hints at a, link, you know, a bit of political linkage to it. Absolutely. So, that's very shameful. It's isn't totally it? shameful. You know, you, uh, now, uh, you, we suspected it. At, and at that time, I think uh, I said it or some, some other of my colleagues also said it, that this Bhima Koregaon was not a spontaneous incident. And now it has been proved. And imagine, this incident was sparked by Maoists because they want to do anything which will, you know, disrupt India's growth story. They want to, you know, spread unrest. So they, they, they planned this 
Bhima Koregaon unrest and the Congress party was a part uh, was a party to this was a partner in this utterly shameful you know i mean the the, the congress people need to apologize to the nation so you know the, the, they are partnering with our enemies those who would wish our country harm they are partnering with them it's shameful and they need to be condemned so since you talked about the congress party there's one congress leader fairly senior congress leader sanjay rupa has come out and said that's nothing new whenever prime minister's popularity goes down he comes up with something or the other of this sort yeah, he's now, how do you react of that sir he is talking out of ignorance because he does not know the facts now let me tell you this and let me tell you this with authority uh the prime minister modi was under threat even when he was the chief minister of gujarat he was under threat by jihadi elements that's a fact now he didn't he he probably doesn't know it or he knows it and then he is still trying to play politics which is more shameful still so there it was mr akhe singh clearly saying that it might be an act of those element who do not want to see india grow and india be on the track to development with harendra in new delhi prashant kumar for times now all right that was rk singh we also joined by my colleague aditi right now aditi uh, this is uh, another reaction coming in from a mantri in the modi cabinet who says that the security the prime minister must be increased he's also obviously backing what his other leaders have told uh, times now and other media channels here as well so the bjp taking it very very seriously fadnavis spoke today he didn't speak about himself but he did speak about the alleged threat to the prime minister Well, absolutely, I think the BJP has enough reasons uh, to take this entire matter absolutely seriously. Even though the government has taken cognizance or taken note of the entire situation, they haven't really spilled the beans whether there will be any direct intervention by the Ministry of Home Affairs or whether the matter will actually be handed over to a higher probing agency. Uh, as you mentioned, also Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis said that the Pune Police has got enough evidences and there is a probe that is currently underway. They are investigating right. all the details that are emerging from the constant letters that are. being access from the laptops and the mobile phones of so called maoist activists as well all right arthi thank you for the update let's go straight back to our guest uh, k nageshwar rao is uh, k nageshwar professor nageshwar is with us right now professor nageshwar uh, ajaz ilmi rk singh all the other bjp leaders think it's a deadly serious plot i say to you the people who been uh, captured or caught by uh, the pune police have been remanded to police custody they are in fact somehow linked with left organizations i am not condemning them right away calling them maoist upper ground or lower ground workers or underground workers the case is going to court so we'll have to wait for the court now but the evidence we have to speak about or the evidence in the public domain we have to speak about these letters mention a lot of people who are associated with left Uh, backed movements they are very close to uh, leftist organizations i'm not going to name exactly which organizations but they are coming from an ideology of the left do you think by completely negating the threat whether it's alleged whether it's true whether it's false is a separate question by negating the threat completely do you think all those activists and leaders are doing a disservice no 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 <clears throat> nobody should negate a threat to the prime minister but who is negating the threat it is the pune police who is doing it if the pune police have found some evidence is this the way to build a narrative come to the media leak it to the media make a tom tom out of it and the minister speaking link, uh, speaking everything other than the internal security aspects this is the way the their a security threat to the prime minister should be leaked to media if the pune police has found something incriminating evidence they are supposed no, to give it to the media, national investigation no, i don't know one second one second they are supposed to give it no, no, to the central one second i don't know about other media sir dealt. but as far so as this channel is concerned i don't know about leak it was a piece of investigative journalism i need to go on record saying that so no, no. That, that i don't know about other media sir i'm sorry as far as as far as my colleague is concerned as a part of investigating i'm talking about times i'm i'm questioning the pune police yeah Okay. No, no. My point is, if the Pune police, please listen to me. Yes, yes. Let me make my point. If the if the Pune police has certain piece of evidence, what should they do? They should take it to the Home Ministry. They should take it to the Prime Minister's office. It's the all that should be uh, should be investigated in a very very okay. confidential you know, that, manner. Strange, But sir, today, that's strange, sir. But more than the investigation, what is happening? Professor, they leak to the media. They are Professor, made to build a narrative. In a, in a strange way, that is a valid point. And why, if there is a running investigation, why should the police go and hold a big press conference and uh, and declare victory for their great work? That's a valid question. It's been asked before. I'm going to ask Ajay Zilmi too. But I have to take a very short break right now. Ajay Zilmi, when we come back, answer that question. But first, take a break.
more breaking news coming in just now going from the letters now this seems the cops have identified the name comrade prakash by the cops more details with my colleague hector kenneth on the phone line what do we know about this comrade prakash yes uh, arthur in fact anand is also joining us from the news pit and he has the copy of the remand that mentions the name of uh, this gentleman now ritupan goswami is an underground activist identified in that remand copy as comrade prakash he is a scholar who completed his phd from the jalna nehru university and is a key cadre of the cpi maoist leninist uh, the cpi maoist rather and not just a card holder of the party but also functionary and the general secretary said to be the link between the urban and the underground leadership all right there you go anand narasimhan joining us my colleague anand narasimhan joining us with more details here uh, anand uh, this comrade prakash it seems the cops know exactly who he is and he's currently underground well yes he's they have they know who he is because they have been able to identify him and name him even in the in the remand copy that we've accessed now this is what it says and in this in marathi but it says uplabdh uh, 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 purna vyakhyan cha adhare rona wilson surendra gadling shoma sen mahesh raut gadchiroli comrade m urf milind tel to bade that's what it is written here and uh, what is the, what they are saying is sandhya bhumigat that means status underground the next name is comrade prakash urf navin urf rituparn goswami comrade prakash urf navin urf rituparn goswami that's what it's written and again it says sandhya bhumigat that means at this point the status is he is underground okay that that so this is where this is the person who's mentioned in the letters as comrade prakash and that is uh, his actual name is rutupan goswami he is actually a scholar from uh, jnu all right that's the information we're getting as of now the cops know exactly who comrade prakash is we also know he's underground we also know where he studied and we also know that uh, the cops have teams out yep. looking for this comrade prakash uh, as we've been telling you there have been a series of letters that times now has accessed all these names currently a part of these investigations by the pune police uh, anand uh, thank you for joining us uh, on this story we go straight back to ajaz ilmi and uh, professor nageshwar uh, i don't have much time here professor nageshwar reactions if any now, now the police of course is going into overdrive they identifying more names i don't want to say the real name of comrade prakash because the police of course are still undergoing the investigation they're con uh, conducting the investigation but more and more left leaning scholars now coming out as part of this investigation if you believe the pune police no no my my point is you cannot you you cannot generalize it as a left leaning scholars number one number two the question here is uh, the pune police no, by leaking all the media are actually undermining the security of the prime minister with all due respect they're not just no, no, they're undermining the security the of the prime minister police claims the police claims they are part of the no, no, cpi no no okay forget about Maoist. my point is that's a designated yeah, organization that, that, let me tell you pune po Fine, fine. Let me let me make a let me make my point. Pune police by leaking all this to the media are actually undermining the security of the prime minister. On one hand, Rajnath Home Minister says 95 percent of the Maoist insurgency is defeated. On other side, they say that the Maoists are a threat to the prime minister. Okay. How, how do you reconcile these two statements? Uh, answer that point. Answer that point. Alleged leaks. Answer that one second. Let Let Ajay Singh answer very quickly. Let very quickly. You made an allegation. Alleged leaks. This whole media uh, conference that was uh, given bang in the middle of a sensitive investigation that has the plot to kill the prime minister. Is that state? Is is that procedure? Well, it's very clear that. The, uh, after Rajiv Gandhi's assassination, when the SPG came into existence, uh, protocols are set up for protecting the Prime Minister Does that and his immediate family. Media who conferences are in the protectees. middle of an investigation. The, those protocols are always in place. No, no. Does but the protocol you, include when you come a across a during the middle an of investigation, when you don't have any suspects, that whether Comrade Prakash or Comrade Vijay or whatever, uh, if they are talking of a Rajiv Gandhi type incident to neutralize. Prime Minister of a, of, a, of a country, then the government of India is definitely part of the process, and we want a quick investigation. 
and the media i mean i would not ins insinuate that by, by by the reports going to the media that anything gets compromised the media is also very very responsible they understand yes, what to say and what not to say okay, they will okay, only I'll say what that. comes I'll up leave with that. the police I'll is under really answerable in the, in the I'll, courts i'll, I'll leave it there i will not the give my personal views here please 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 no that I is not the protocol of a security investigation i'm sorry to tell you i am a professor of journalism i am a media man Okay, okay, fair enough. I we leave it there. Media Professor Nageshwar, thank you for joining us. Rajaz Ilmi, thank you for joining us. We'll take a short break here on Group Print. Much more coming up ahead on Times Now. Stay tuned to this channel.